That fish is super pale. I saw you fall a bass. I would be looking for it, baby. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. And today, we are on some very special water. I believe it is Lake Ifu Ala. I believe it's like a, a, a Hawaiian thing. And in, in Hawaiian, I believe it means chocolate milk because that's all we're seeing right now is chocolate milk and Chris is telling me that's not how it's pronounced where are we at oh you okay that makes way more sense we're at Lake Eufaula in Alabama we drove three and a half hours this morning left at three o'clock to be here and uh, well the conditions are rough we're facing several adverse conditions here now i'm just going to go ahead and throw them out there because well i'm full of excuses because at the moment i don't see me catching any fish well number one this is the clearest water we found all day we've gone back in a creek and we found this water it's about a foot to a foot and a half of visibility which is doable so we're throwing spinner baits at the moment earlier i mean the conditions were like i don't know three inches that's condition number one we're up against number two absolutely gorgeous bluebird skies only problem is that means it's high pressure and uh, we're about three days out from a low pressure system so that's hurting us a little bit I could go on and on for days about all the excuses i've got about the 25 mile an hour wind we do have a lot of wind blowing. You'd think that would help us with the spinner baits, but not so much. Anyway, hang tight. Hopefully we'll get a few in the boat and uh, we'll have something to make a video. Outside of that, you've clicked on a video and you have no idea what's about to happen. So hang tight, let's do it. A tough time today. Well, the water clarity is junk. Throwing black and blue chatterbait, and you can barely, barely see it after about three inches. You got one? Whoa, boy. Look how pale that fish is. Why is it so white to me? That fish is super pale. My lord. We'll throw him in the live well. Spinnerbait may be the way to go. And I left almost every one of mine at home. Whole box there. I know. Yeah, it's a good little white. Yeah, it looks like a spot. It's a spot. It is a spot. That thing was crazy. Did he fight? He didn't really look like he was really fighting too hard. Caught that bass on a Jordan Lee setup. Jordan Lee setup. Just rod and reel. Jordan Lee series. Oh, that ain't good. Caught that tree on a Jordan Lee series. I'm about to get on a map here in a minute and try to find a creek. Try to go to the back of it. See if we can't find clearer, clearer water.
That's a good size one right there, buddy. That's a that's, that's, that's a, a Eufaula bass that we've been looking for, baby. I think I may have to switch to a spinner bait. You can tell by our reaction how cold we are because we're really not reacting when you get a fish. Scales down there. Three. I thought she'd been bigger. All right, I'm gonna switch to a spinner bait. That's the only thing that is getting bit. So I'm gonna take a quick, quick time out here. I turned her off because I was eating a pop tart. You know, me and Chris are debating on the validity of this pop tart. Right now, I need you to get in the comments. This is a cherry pop tart. I say the cherry pop tarts are pretty good. I like them. No, see, my the one I hate the most is, is strawberry. And I know that's one of the most popular, but I hate strawberry. I like blueberry, cherry. That's pretty much it in the, in the Pop-Tarts. Let me know in the comments if cherry is, is the absolute worst, because Chris, Chris can't stand it. Every time I say the word cherry Pop-Tart, he just, ugh. Fruit flavor, it is the worst. Clarify, not chocolate, birthday cake, Samoan nut butter Pop-Tart the fruit flavors cherry is the worst is what you're saying so i think cherry is underrated we're facing we're facing several adverse conditions here now i'm just going to go ahead and throw them out there because well i'm full of excuses because at the moment i don't see me catching any fish hold on net net please oh he's in trolling motor Oh, he's not big. What is that? That is a pike. <laughs> that is a pickerel. My, my first pickerel. I thought that was a long bass. You want to hold him? Yeah, I never have. Never caught one before. Let's see. Got him? Uh huh. How about that? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. PB today. Little chain pickerel. Well, that was something. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two fish for the day, a largey and a spot. How about it, Chris? Hey, back on the board. <laughs> he was ready immediately. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this part on the water. Now, me and Chris are going to get the boat up because we're in a different place. We're going to start doing this on the channel more where we go fishing and then we go feasting. We're going to try to find some local grub here in Uafala'a in Ufala, and uh, maybe we can uh, share a little bit of where we went and how it tasted. So if you're ever in Ufala'a, you can you can sample some of the the local cuisine we found the place we're gonna eat and uh it's got well fish and stuff it's the cajun corner here in downtown eufaula so we're gonna see what they got to eat i think chris is a little excited starving like marvin it's got wind burn. My face is burning. This is called Cajun poppers or something. There's crawfish. So that's the appetizer. I went simple with the shrimp. North Shore has shrimp, crawfish, and Dewey sausage. Pretty good. All right, folks, we're coming to the end of this little road trip. Lunch was actually really good. I mean, what'd you think? Delicious. So it was really good. We've got one more visit that we have to, we have to pay homage to. Uh, Tom Mann. Do what? Tom Mann. Tom Mann, sure, yeah. That guy. Then we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna head back home. All in all, it was, it was a successful trip. Chris got on 
three fish, three different species. Spot, uh, all scoreable. <laughs> spot, largemouth, and chain pickerel. Uh, I got blanked, but I'm okay with that. I'm 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 good with that actually. I'm I'm learning to be okay with just enjoying my time on the water. So I mean, as muddy as it was, I mean, we did pretty good just getting the three in the boat. So here we are. That's right. The big bass capital of the world. It really, the backdrop on MLF made it look like it was something somewhere else. The backdrop is really kind of crappy. I mean, we got some kind of industrial plant over there. We got just stuff. But there it is. It's, it's the big bass capital. It's Manny the Bass. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Leave us a comment below on the, uh, the whole Pop-Tart situation that we were talking about on the boat. And, uh... If you want to see more road trips where we, you know, fish and feast, because uh, we can make those happen. We, I think we kind of enjoyed this one. So anyway, as always, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding on notifications if you want to be notified anytime we drop a new video, and we'll catch you on the next one, folks. Later.